on this video. Do you ever had 88 on your Furion fireplace and it won't work? We're gonna try to fix that. We're either gonna have to fix it or replace our fireplace. Not sure which one, but we're working on that. And we wanted to take you through that process. After we take out the fireplace, then we are going to look and see if we can fix it. And if not, we're gonna have to order another one. We're gonna take you through all the process. Uh, just like most everybody else that has uh, reflection or grand design or any of these Furion, fireplaces they always have issues so we've got issues we're gonna pull it out and see what we can find so on this installment we're just going to show you how to access the screws to pull it out on reflection 2018 337 this front piece here will come off you just lift up and it'll come off to give you access here here there and there and there'll be some fillet head screw in there and that's what you have to access to remember where your screwdriver is that's what you'll have to access to be able to undo it at least i say it's phillips head you need a flashlight because you can't see I, I cannot see that's for sure yeah, it is phillips right. i'm surprised everything in here has been like square headed it usually it's uh, number two square head You have to take those screws out on the top, though, don't you, to make that come out? We forgot to I tell don't them. Think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, do. yeah. Yeah, there is screws on top here. Number two, I forgot to tell you all that. It's got screws up here that screw in right here, and they are number two square heads. You got to take those out first before you lift the glass up. Should have told you that. Yeah. And there it is, which he had already taken the drawers and unplugged it. Now, it's not going to trip now, is it? Because we, uh, yep, there it just tripped. You ever wanted, whoop, I'm knocking stuff over, I know. If you ever wanted to see what the back of the Furion looks like, that's it. It's just LED lights and a little thing that turns for the uh, lights. Right. We took it out, took it apart, turned turned it on. Within 15 seconds, it tripped. Air code 88 came back on. Belle wanted to work on it, so she she finished taking the rest of it apart. Um, she comes right in the video. <laughs> That's exactly how she does it. Anyway, when we plugged it. We turned it on and it tripped. This fan here was not turning very fast. It was actually turning really slow. Um, so the only thing I've done so far, right here is your sensor. That's your temperature sensor. Coming off of this board, it comes into this port right here. This, that's where it sucks air in from the side as well. Um, I cleaned it, just cleaned the end of it. That's all I've done. And I spun this fan both ways. I don't know if something was hung up in there or what, but after playing with this fan motor, uh, the next time we cut it on, this fan started blowing full speed. It started rotating full speed, which was allowing it to stay cooler. We let it run, what, 10, 15 minutes? Easily, yeah. And it hasn't tripped yet, so I don't know if there's something wrong with this motor going bad. and or if something was hung up in there. But right now it looks like if this fan motor, or if this fan here is not blowing, not turning full speed, that is full RPMs, it causes it to overheat. And then once it starts getting too much heat, 
that sensor will trip it and cut it off and give it an 88 code. Right now it seems to be working. We're going to put it back together, shove it in this case, and see how long it works for. I'll let you know. We didn't officially count. I'm thinking there's somewhere between a thousand screws and two thousand. <laughs> Not really, but it seemed like it. But also, if you're gonna, once you put these screws back in, they're very easily stripped. So just barely tighten them. No crank down on them. We ran the fireplace all night long, on low because it wasn't that cold last night and we just, you know, hot would burn us out. So we left it on low all night long and it never kicked off. And before we took it apart, literally you would push the button, five seconds in, it would kick right back off and have the 88 error code. So I'm gonna make this video more about how to get the fireplace out than fix it because I don't know that we fixed it, but we really won't know for a few weeks. So I will update with another video if that doesn't fix it, and we'll do a replacing the fireplace because we will order another one. Till next time, like and subscribe.